Today on Dance Commute, we're on the ice, baby. We're in Alaska, the last frontier. Let's get our ride on. Hey guys, well, I'm in Alaska, the last frontier. Where's my phone? See how cold it is outside. Dude, okay, so it is 26 degrees here in Red Banks, Alaska, and some flurries are happening. So before we start our commute, let's go down to the water, the agua. So guys, I wanna make sure I say for those people who've been hitting me up on Facebook and on YouTube, I'm sorry I haven't hit you back. I've just been a little off grid. Isn't that cool, man? There's like a championship uh, ice carving uh, in Fairbanks too, man. Thought that was pretty cool. Pretty neat. Love Alaska. Love Alaska, guys. But yeah, like I say, I apologize. <clears throat> but I will get back to you guys as soon as I get back. Also, I don't know why I never thought about this, but Fairbanks, Alaska, or Alaska in general, I believe, at least this part that I'm in uh, now, is like three hours behind Central Standard Time. So, yeah. Oh yeah, guys, they do the, uh, the dog sled races. I think they like start over, yeah. See, look at that snow oh, snowmobile exit. But I think they like start like right in here, man. It's crazy. The other day when we came, you know, they were lined up, man. They were ready to do the thing. So it's, it's just quite a bit of stuff that goes down here, man. But this morning, I'm going to do what I do best, and that's ride on two wheels. Okay, maybe not two wheels. It'll be a uh, snowmobile, but hey, it's the best I can do. Let me tell you, though, this bike's landing. It's waterfront lodge. And not bad. Uh, obviously there's better, but for what you get, the accommodations and how nice they are, but look, they even have solar. <clears throat> I'll tell you right now, this person from Washington, that's a heck of a drive. Good job. Okay, let's see if this thing even starts. All right. Positive sign number one. Let's take the book sack off. Throw this girl in here. Hopefully I don't have to plug it in well, let me show you guys so and all the cars that you rent have a freaking plug like like a legit man like I ain't used to that that's cool all right let's see here hopefully she starts <clears throat> Breaking out the, uh... oh, dude, it started. It's like when you work on that car project and you're like, man, it's not going to start. Oh, it started. Okay, guys, it's been a blast uh, being out here in Alaska. I've always wanted to come. You know, we saw the Northern Lights a couple of nights ago. That was awesome, man. Continue on Alaska 3 North for four miles. All right, so we'll make it there at 8.23. Supposed to be there at 8.30, so. <clears throat> I was gonna be a little early, you know, but yeah. They said it was gonna snow yesterday, man. I was a little nervous, because I don't know if you can see this. Well, this road here is actually really cleared. There's a lot of roads uh, in and around Fairbanks and on the outskirts that it's like iced over. There's just huge chunks of ice still in the roadway. <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell you, man, Man from Central Texas, or hey, even from the South, even South Louisiana. Anytime we had anything that can accumulate on the ground, they're like, Erp, shut it down. Because, you know, we don't know how to drive in it. So it's, it was crazy seeing all these guys still able to maintain the speed limit uh, with the roads being in such poor condition. Now, obviously, this is great conditions. I'm able to go the speed limit. This is, this is it's perfect. 
Okay, so I want to give a shout out to Ed at Little Richards uh, Diner. Really nice guy, man. Uh, obviously, we swapped life stories, and you know what, man? He's made a good life out here, and he, I feel like he was a good representation of what uh, an Alaskan is. That, and it was a gentleman that I met uh, at the airport. I can't recall his name right now, but great guy, man. I mean, I'll tell you more about him later, I'm sure. But good people. Good people, man. I mean, it's good people everywhere. Let's make no mistake about that. But, you know, I mean, from the moment that uh, we got off the plane and landed, nothing but smiles and well wishes. So we really appreciate that. I appreciate that for sure. Well. How y'all doing? doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Are y'all from Alaska? No. I'm from Texas. Oh, Austin, Texas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. I was uh, telling my wife, I was like, you know, I ride the motorcycle and I'll ride in colder temperatures. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that uh, translates to, <laughs> yeah, to you know. By the look of it, not, not the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause I told her, I was like, you know, like a lot of this clothes that I have on, this is what I'll ride in, you know, like the insulated, the pants and stuff like that. So, but, uh, yeah, you, you'll find out what kind of winter gear is actually good or not. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? I hope what I bought, I hope my money spent is. Yeah. I hope so too. But sounds like they'll take care of us inside too. Right. <laughs> yep. Tell you, as soon as I sat down on this thing, I literally rolled on the throttle like it was a motorcycle. You gotta hit that throttle button. So, yeah, a little embarrassing, but hey, carry on.
Now right here we see a cow, a moose, a female moose. Now if you, I, obviously it's hard to see with this wide angle lens, but she's there guys, I promise you. She is there. But uh, our, our, our guide, I believe her name was Brittany, you know, I saw she was packing some heat across her chest and I was like, man, man I promise you I won't harm you. She said, no, 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 it's not for you. It's for the moose. She said that, you know, this past season, the snow has been so bad up there in Fairbanks that that the moose are, are moving on the uh, on the on the snowmobile or they call them snow machine uh, path. So she's had she's encountered a couple of them. She's had to run them off. So I'm glad she was back in that heat. Now, right here, I see this guy who uh, has been riding behind me. I guess I guess it may have stalled on him, but I wasn't about to leave him. You don't leave a man behind. You know the rules, guys. Anyway, that same guy, I end up uh, being on another tour with him later that night. Uh, the tour was from like 10 o'clock to 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was the ice fishing. In fact, we're passing the ice fishing sheds to the left here. So, yeah, I, I was able to chat with him and his daughter. Really good people, man. He's just... You just meet great people all over, man. I'm just so grateful. Or he figured it out quick. What's that? This? Yeah, when I was watching you. Oh, sweet. So this is Chena Lake we're on right now. You were fishing right over there. Yeah, yeah I yeah. was just wondering about that. Yeah, that's what all these red tents are doing. So I'm gonna stay parked right here, and you guys can have fun anywhere over here. Okay. But like, don't go over here because uh, people have been ice fishing in their giant holes and stuff. Okay. And also, don't take any random trails into the woods because I I won't be able to find. Yeah. You. <laughs> and uh, so this winter, I've seen three dudes, all of them drove motorcycles before, tip over or flip their machines right here on the lake. It's I can believe it. Yeah, it's because they're turning too fast. So if you're pinning it to win it, just straight ahead, slow way down, and then turn around, and then you can floor it again. Just for safety, you know? Okay. Um, also, don't go too close to the shore, because that's where people have been fishing in their ice holes, and the snow is deep. I don't want to have to dig you out.
great ride, great time. That was the first time we've ever been on a snowmobile, snow machine. Standing up on it was a lot different than standing up on the Pegasus motorcycle, but you know, I do it again in a heartbeat. Well guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I know this is not an Africa Twin, I know this is not a motorcycle video, but I want to show you guys, you know, a dream that I've had, man, and I encourage you guys to go out there and live your dreams. Life is short, you never know what's going to happen, man, so don't be afraid, don't be scared, you just take the leap and you just jump. Well guys, thanks for watching, hey, y'all take care.